Hi, welcome to my first video. Um, this is a comparison between the UAD and the Eventide H910 plug-in models. This isn't a plug-in tutorial as much as it is a comparison between the sounds of the two units to help make a better decision about which one's right for you. Essentially, you have the same basic control set. You can even see the numbers and percentages come up the same in both plugins. Um, the UAD version gives you the ability to change the delay time of output 2 and also control the notes with a visual keyboard, whereas you don't get that on the Eventide unit, although you can um, use MIDI to, to accomplish much of the same thing. And I'm not going to go over that. I'm really just concerned about uh, the sound differences between the two as they're supposed to, supposedly based on the same code. Something most users will notice right away is that the Eventide version, while it has a lot of presets, doesn't have any um, artist presets. That's a popular thing um, with UAD and with Waves as well, because those kind of give you an insight about workflow. So you've got some pretty heavy hitters here. Um, I've copied the Ross Hogarth um, set of presets between the two. Um, because the UAD version has an output 2 specifically for the second time delay, I'm just going to keep that turned off for uh, the sake of this comparison because we're just doing a mono channel and um, I can't directly compare it, so I'm going to disable that. So I'll load up the same presets and you can see everything is the same. Here is uh, a single guitar track in a series of harmonized guitars um, from the song I'm working on. Um, here is the raw version with no... Unbelievably riveting all by itself. Okay, so here is the UAD version. Tide with the same settings. Okay, and let's just fly through some more. So the guitar float, and again, pulling down that output too. So this is not exactly the same preset that you would get with this because without splitting um, the track into two and going left and right with two instances of the Eventide, I can't directly match them. So I'm not gonna do that for the sake of this, but we will just compare them. So uh, don't leave me any comments about that because I know, I know, I'm just doing a very quick version. So here is Guitar Float. <laughs> version of that same preset. Okay, next we're going to go octave down. Again, you can see the time settings are different here. Still manual. So it should be about the same. And the Eventide. Interesting. Okay, um, now we're going to do octave up. And the Eventide.
<laughs> more similar than the octave down version. Let's move on to room. Okay, now this one is particularly different because you can see that the settings are are quite a bit different between the two. So it, again, not a great representation of the individual preset, but just comparison purposes here. Here is the UAD. Take. You see, this was on envelopes. So it was actually using the neat envelope follower here. We're going to switch it to manual, so this is actually disabled and lines up with the Eventide. <laughs> slap and again with the UAD as the first plugin <laughs> So you can hear with with uh, similar or the same settings, they actually sound quite a bit the same. Okay, let's quickly, just with this preset, I'm going to crank up the feedback here and switch to anti-feedback and let's see what uh, what happens between the two. differences with uh, even just really the repeats and I find the anti-feedback sounds a bit different I know it wasn't set exactly the same and now there was a feedback but it does sound uh, texturally almost that uh, the UAD is a little bit softer and um, the Eventide is almost more forward could just be me um, let's move on to another instrument Um, the snare drum is going to need work, and I actually have Crystallizer in doing uh, kind of the same thing that you would do with the 910. So we'll get to that after, and we're just going to go through the same the same set of presets here because I know that they're all doubled. So here we go with the raw snare. <laughs> okay, now we're going to add in the 910, the UAD. And the Eventide. The blur isn't going to really do that much on a snare, so let's do something a little bit, uh, a little bit 
are different here. Um, the guitar float preset, UAD. Okay, and on the oven type. Okay, moving on to octave down. UAD. And the oven type. Well, that sounded a lot different. Big hit. Okay, and octave up, UAD. Octave up, eventide. So let's try that on the UED. They're actually a lot more similar than uh, I was anticipating, which is kind of refreshing. Because um, you'd think that, well, the extra uh, modeling and stuff that UAD does... Um, I kind of thought would lead to a bigger difference between the two and maybe it would reveal itself with a little bit more use, but um, yeah, it's, it's kind of surprising. Here's the room preset. Okay, now let's listen to that on the Eventide. My bad again, same thing. Envelope filter, let's try that with, with manual. Let's go back to the UAD. And the oven time. Okay, and finally, that vocal slap preset. And here is the UAD. And there you go, that's the snare drum. Just quick comparison with uh, Crystallizer here. Now I'm not going to go through and match all these settings. Um, let's just have a listen to it's doing something similar already. So that's kind of similar, not exactly the same. And again, that's just a very quick and dirty uh, go through and not looking at the many other settings here for Crystallizer. But it, it, it definitely gets in the same ballpark in my experience using Crystallizer on drums. Going to do a vocal track. Um, again, I think I should point out that I'm just doing um, a comparison between the two plugins. I'll post a couple more videos that... Uh, kind of goes through some of the sounds um, 
with all the fun stuff that uh, that exists in these plugins after. So if you're looking for an example of the plugin that's showing everything that it can do, this isn't it. If you're just looking for a comparison between the two, then that's what this is. So here we go on vocals with the doubler. U80 first. And it can go back to how it used to be. We've all moved on. Dry vocal. And it can't go back to how it used to be. We've all moved on. We've all moved on. Here's the Eventide version. And it can't go back to how it used to be. We've all moved on. We've all moved on. Okay, guitar flow. This is probably going to be kind of, kind of strange on a voice. Here we go, UAD. And it can't go back to how it used to be. And it can't go back to how it used. down beauty and the octave up UAD first Okay, and the room, making sure I switch to manual first this time. UAD first. And it can't go back to how it used to be. And the oven type. And it can't go back to how it used to be. We've all moved on. Got to kill that second output. So you can see even what what that's doing that's different. So let's hear the, the UAD again. And it can't go back to how it used to be. You haven't said. And it can't go back to how it used to be. Finally, the double slap here. Or vocal slap. Oh, that's double slap. A new AD. And it can't go back to how it used to be. We've all moved on. And the oven time. And it can't go back to how it used to be. We've all moved on. We've all moved on. Thanks for stopping by and watching this comparison. Um, I think after kind of investigating them both a little bit more, I'm probably going to go with the Eventide Anthology X Bundle, which includes the 910, just because they sound really similar, and I probably like how the UAD sounds better, but... Um, it uses up a chip or half a chip um, on a UAD card for each stereo instance, which is pretty heavy duty. Whereas I can run a bunch of these native without having to do any fan dangling. Or if you're on Pro Tools 12.3, you can do commit um, the insert, which is really great in and of itself. But otherwise, they're they're really they're interchangeable. I think these presets are more fun, but that's a, that's not a great reason to choose one over the other, and I'm sure I'll have just as much success with both. And they offer, the, both both models offer something different than um, 
what's available in Crystallizer, which kind of can get you in the, in the same place, but it's not doing exactly the same thing. So thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, like or comment or subscribe, and there'll be more to come. Thank you.